Good morning everyone and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. How's everybody doing this Monday morning? I hope all is well. Well, I'd like to thank you all, the new subscribers, for subscribing. And if you're watching this channel for the first time and um, you see something you like, go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And be sure to hit that notification bell so every time I upload a recipe, you'll be notified, okay? Give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen. And welcome. Today's recipe is um, meatloaf. I'm making meatloaf, okay? And um, I have like two meatloaf on there. I have like a brown sugar glaze meatloaf I did, a meatloaf with a brown sugar glaze. And I did that at like... Um, I did that a while back, so I don't forget how I don't forget how long it's been since I did that. So y'all excuse me, I got my bonnet on, I have to sleep with my thing on, keep my braids looking fresh. So um, I did that a while back, but I just recently did. It's been about a couple months ago, a month ago, a couple weeks or something. I did a, um, a meatloaf and gravy. So today I'm doing another meatloaf, but I'm not doing. Um, any gravy or anything. I'm just going, just going to have that brown sugar glaze because my kids asked me to make a brown sugar glaze to the meatloaf. So I'm doing that, but I'm adding a vegetable to it, okay? So let's get into the video, video so I can show you guys what you'll need for this recipe, okay? So I have here my bowl of um, hamburger meat. Now I have two packs of uh, hamburger meat. Let me um, put some of this water out because I see it's sitting up there with a little water in it again. I don't need all that. So I have forgot y'all to take the meatloaf out last night, right? So what I had to do was to sit it in some hot water so that it can um throw out faster because I ain't have the time for it to sit it on thaw. I ain't have time to wait. I gotta go to work today, right? So you're gonna need some meat, some meat love. Okay, so I have here a um green bell pepper, I have a red bell pepper, I have one yellow onion, I have three fresh garlic cloves here, one egg, and some um, Italian style breadcrumbs, one can of sweet peas, some barbecue sauce original, some yellow mustard, some ketchup, well that's, the, 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 that's for something else, So, but the ketchup, okay? So this is all I'm going to put in and we have one egg, okay? So let's get ready and well, let me let me chop some of my vegetables up first. So y'all, excuse me for a minute. Let me just. So uh, yesterday for dinner, as y'all can see on the video, if y'all looked at the video, the um my son's dinner, I had um. Lima beans, rice, cornbread, and fried chicken, right? I had that for dinner yesterday, but we didn't have enough chicken for dinner. And now, I woke up this morning, there wasn't nothing but two pieces of the chicken left. And I baked some chicken for my husband. So, it's like three pieces of that left. So, that's not enough for, like, dinner. So, I said, okay, I'll make some meatloaf. So then my kids go, Mom, you want to make something with some um, brown sugar glaze? I say, yeah. I'll do the brown sugar glaze. So that's why I'm doing this video with the brown sugar glaze. Again. Because that's what they want. So I'm just cutting the membranes out of my um, bell pepper here. I'm finna get ready and start me a garden, y'all. So, 
when we get ready to do that, I'll show you guys the video of that. As we get ready to plant it, and then as it come up, I like fresh vegetables, and I like gardening. I like to have my little flowers out in the summertime, you know, looking all nice and pretty. And I like, I love fresh vegetables. My squash, my zucchini. So we went yesterday, I went to go get some, but they didn't have any um, plants. I was looking for the zucchini and the squash plants. They didn't have any, so I had to get this, the seeds, which is still good. But I was looking for the plants so I can But I did get me some squash and I got me some zucchini. And I have some um, green onions. I love the green onions. And I got some, um, let me see, my squash, zucchini, green onions. I got some broccoli. And I got some, I um, only got one of those just to see how they do because I never planted broccoli. I always did like um, green, green, greens like the collars, the mustards, and the um, turnips, right, that I did. And I did a cabbage. I haven't done the cabbage, but I didn't get no cabbage. And so I did, I got those. So the green onions and the squash and the zucchini. Um, I got some tomatoes. I got peppers, like green, red, yellow. Um, I don't think I got the orange. I might have got the orange. I think I got all the kind. I got some jalapeno peppers. Last time I had, like, my, my husband planted, well, I planted, um, some jalapeno um, plants that we had. Well, we did the seeds. And great day, I had so many jalapeno um, little little trees, little plants come up. To I'm like, yeah, no, I ain't gonna use all these plants. I had too many. To I had like give my family some, and then greens. You know, I have a lot of them, and I give some away to my family or uh, some of the neighbors across the street. You know, I say, you want some greens? They say, yeah. So I said, well, you can come over and pick you some. <laughs> so um, and they come and they come get them to y'all. And one lady came and got her bag, two bags full. And she said, I'm going to cook these right now. And I had like um a couple freezers. So I have like one freezer like for my meat. And then um, the other freezer be for like my vegetables, my fresh vegetables and my frozen vegetables and stuff like that. We do corn, but we ain't got none. Because I don't think it's time for that. I don't know, but... I got some more. I just can't even call the name of what I got. I know I got the um, zucchini, the squash, the broccoli, the peppers. Oh, I got some okra. And, um... I got something else, too. Cause I, I love my okra too. But yeah, so when I get ready to get the come up, as we get ready to do it, I'll show you guys a video of that. The process of it growing and getting some height on it until it's like ready to So this week here is going to be like a four day week for me. Which 
I'm excited. I'm glad. So I'm just chopping up my onions real fine. You know, I don't want no big onions in my meatloaf. I want you to be able to taste them, but when you get ready to bite into the meatloaf, I don't want you to be tasting no big onion now. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump this right into the bowl of the hamburger meat. Then we're gonna do the rest of the peppers. So, um, this meatloaf, y'all, I like it with my little sweet peas in it. And when my kids was little, they didn't like, I want, I remember fixing like some meatloaf and some peas to go on the side with some mashed potatoes, right? And I had made a part of gravy to go over the mashed potatoes and the meatloaf, right? So, um, my kids didn't eat their peas. They wouldn't eat the peas. So I said, okay. They're going to eat these peas. So what I, do, what I did, the next time I had cooked it, when I cooked it again, I put the peas inside the meatloaf. Yeah, they could see them. And of course, they could pick them out. But they didn't. They ate it anyway because my kids, they like, one of my sons, they like ketchup on top of, you know, the meatloaf. It already used to have ketchup on it because sometimes, you know, I make the meatloaf on my top and be ketchup, right? So he'll put more ketchup on the meat. Baby, don't you know they ate that meatloaf with them vegetables? And so ever since I started doing it like that, I just continue on with doing it with the peas and the meatloaf. And they ate it, but as long as I had the vegetable on the side, they wouldn't eat it. Now if I have another vegetable like corn or some kind of vegetable that they like, they'll eat it. But they didn't like sweet peas when they was younger. So I had to come up with a way to make them eat it. And I put it in the meatloaf. Okay, so now for the peppers to go in here. Okay, so I have my two um, fresh garlic cloves I'm going to chop up next. And then we'll go on with the remaining ingredients.
So you're going to need your oven on 350 degrees. And I already have my oven preheated. It's getting hot. Okay, so I'm going to add my little corn, I mean my um, garlic in. See as y'all can see. Okay, so I got my, my, my egg I'm gonna put in here. One egg. Oh, we're gonna need some seasoning, y'all. I forgot I ain't had no seasoning now. So the seasoning that I'll be using will be some kosher salt, some black pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder and some soul food season. So let me put me some um kosher salt. Is that what this is? Okay, some black pepper. accent salt. Okay, some onion powder. Okay, next some garlic powder. Okay, I got some soul food seasoning here. So full seasoning. And last but not least, I have my accent salt. And I like accent salt because all the accent salt do is enhance all the other flavors that I just poured in here. And last but not least, y'all, I forgot that I'm going to need some Worcestershire sauce. So let me just put a couple dashes in here. Now y'all just eyeball this, okay? So we just put a little couple dashes in here like that. Okay, so next I'll be using some ketchup. I'm sorry, mustard. I'm not out of mustard. Okay, so we got some ketchup here. Okay, I have a little bit of barbecue sauce. Just need a little bit of that. I got some Italian breadcrumbs I'm using. Okay, now I'm gonna put this can of peas, sweet peas in there. So let me open them up. And we're gonna drain the water off for them, okay? I'm gonna drain the liquid off. Ok, 
Okay, I drained the liquid off and here's my can of sweet peas. So I don't need any of that anymore. I don't need this. So I'm gonna put my water over here. I'm gonna put my rest of this up because I don't need this anymore. So, I'm going to just take out some ketchup because I need some ketchup for this, for my glaze. So, I got another bottle of ketchup. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this in. And one thing about meatloaf, y'all. Don't over mix it. She don't want your meatloaf dry. But you do want it combined. Well, combined. Okay, so I'm gonna put just a little bit more bread crumbs in there. What time it is? What time you got out of school? Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to take my pan, and I'm not going to spray it because y'all know meatloaf makes its own grease. You can spray it if you want, it won't hurt anything. I'm supposed to say peas and meatloaf. How does that taste? Well, don't knock it until you taste it. 
Because I wouldn't do make it if it didn't taste right. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm telling you, it tastes good. I'm telling you. Give it a try. I'm gonna need my knife, but let me wash my hands because I got the um, I got the slices. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to make my um, my glaze, okay? So let me get a... And throughout the baking process, y'all... Throughout the baking process, I will be... Um, I will be adding, I will be touching up, you know, touching it up with the glaze. Okay, so for the glaze, you will need some ketchup, some brown sugar, and some apple cider vinegar, okay? That's what you're going to need for the glaze. So, for the, um... Brown sugar, you will need, I might have to open up another can of, another, another pack of um, brown sugar. One. And one fourth cup of brown sugar. Okay, so we're going to brush this glaze on, and then we're going to put it into the oven, okay? So it can do what it do, and then we're going to put it into a 350 degree oven, that is, until it gets done, okay? And throughout the process, I'm going to be brushing some of this glaze on my um, meatloaf. So another 30 minutes, I come back and I brush some more of the glaze on.
All right, that's it. So I'm gonna put this into a 350 degree oven until it's nice and brown, and it will come back. And um, throughout the cooking process, I will be um, adding more glaze to it. So when it gets done, I'll show you guys the end result. So I'll see you back here in a few. Hey everyone, welcome back. Y'all see how that glaze done set on that meatloaf? This meatloaf tastes so good, y'all. I done outdid my goddamn own self. I'm telling you. The glaze and all. I'm telling y'all, it's good. Let me do it. Mm. Y'all, it's good. It's seasoned good. I got my peppers in him. I got my garlic in him. I got my onions in him. Along with them seasonings. It is so good. And them sweet peas and that glaze. It just tops it right on off. Y'all. Like this recipe? Give me a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. So the meatloaf, lima beans, rice, and cornbread left over from yesterday. Cornbread left. The cornbread and rice and neck bones left over from yesterday. I mean, god dang. Cornbread and rice and lima beans left over from yesterday. So y'all like this recipe? Like, share, and subscribe to Join's Kitchen. Give me a thumbs up. Let me show y'all what my food looks like plated up. And this will be going to work with me for my dinner later on at work. Y'all see how the inside of that look? I'm telling you, if you ain't never tried it with the peas in there, I'm telling you to try it. Y'all, y'all may look at it like, oh, uh -uh. I'm telling you, I'm telling you it's good. Uh, I ain't gonna make nothing that don't taste good. I'm telling you, this meatloaf with them white, I mean, them um sweet peas, one can of sweet peas, they are so good in the meatloaf. Along with the, all the other seasons that I put in there, and the red and yellow, I mean, the red and green bell peppers, the onions, the seasonings. And the sweet peas. And to top it off, that glaze just take it to a whole nother level. That's the brown sugar glaze, y'all. And um, I hope y'all like this recipe. Like, share, and subscribe to Joyce Kitchen. Y'all, this, 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 um, this right here make you want a little bit more. Mmm. That'll make you want to eat it all, God. I'm telling you, it's good. Make this recipe. My brown sugar and glazed meatloaf with sweet peas. Yes. Try it. You don't have to take my word for it. Just say, I'm going to see what Miss Joanne is talking about. I'm going to see how good this meatloaf is. Try this meatloaf. Add the season that I add in it. If you don't have a soul food season... Whatever kind of Larry season salt, whatever kind of season salt you use, will be sufficient. All you need is your seasoning salt, some kosher salt. Now, don't use it with no other seasoning. Try with the seasonings that I use, okay? To the exact, the, the Larry season salt, salt, if y'all don't have soul food seasoning in your neck of the woods, Larry seasoning salt, kosher salt, black pepper, um, onion and garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce with the egg, green bell peppers, white bell peppers, onion, and garlic, 
breadcrumbs, Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, accent salt, and top you off some sweet peas in there, a can of sweet peas. Some you just need some small can of sweet peas. You don't need them big, them big large ones, but a small can of sweet peas. Uh, and pour it in there. Remember to drain the water off. Mix it together, bake it. Make your brown sugar gravy, or your brown sugar glaze with your one fourth cup of brown sugar, and um, one fourth cup of vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and a half a cup of ketchup. One and a half cups of ketchup, right? That's what I use. But anyway, it's on the recipe. It's on there. It'll be on there. Okay? And mix it together and um, put the glaze over your meatloaf. And then throughout the breaking process, just continue to glaze it. And I'm telling you, this was one good recipe. So I hope you try it. I hope you like it. And to the next recipe, God bless. I love you all. And I'll see you guys later with another recipe. Have a good evening. Brown sugar, meatloaf with brown sugar glaze, and sweet peas. 101.